Hey guys, how's it going? Something kind of cool here. I wanted to expand on my existing security system, so I got something brand new from Swan. This is their Wi-Fi pan and tilt security camera, and this is totally wireless, or it could be hardwired via ethernet, but the great thing about this is it could be totally wireless, all you need is power, and with this pan and tilt, you're like, what does that mean? Well, it's able to pan, you can go and look all around the room and everything you can see the entire space now this could be mounted anywhere in your home but let's say you're in a dorm type setting or or a rental property where you don't have the option to mount and drill holes in the wall this is great you could just place it somewhere now you don't need to pay any monthly fees cloud storage fees anything like that you could put in up to a 64 gigabyte SD card and it records locally on the device. Now, you still have an app with this. You can watch and monitor via your phone. There's two-way audio, so you can hear and you can speak. So it's a great uh, pet monitor. It's great for uh, a nanny cam if you're keeping an eye on someone babysitting or watching your kids. Let's say you have construction going on in your house. You want to buy a camera really quick and just set it up so you can see what's going on. You got this right here. Now, this is indoor only. Full 1080p, Swan has 24-7 uh, support, and this is a great, great camera. I'm so happy to uh, have this. Now, there are smart cameras out there, but if you look at it, they're double the price, and you have to pay a monthly fee to see your own footage. With this, there are no fees, and you can rewind and play back via your smartphone and the corresponding app. But we'll get all into it, I'll unbox it, we'll set it up, everything will be fine. So. Uh, yeah, imagine if you're in a dorm or you're living in a house that has roommates and you don't know who's coming in or out or you want to make sure no one's coming in your room or your space, you have this right here. And it's great. Pop in the SD card, go through the instructions, set it all up, place it in your room, and now you'll get uh, notifications every time someone's coming in or out or moving within that space and you can rewind and play back from your smartphone as well. You also have the option to log in via your desktop. So you can be anywhere in the world as long as you're getting a cellular or Wi-Fi signal. So this is a great baby monitor. Uh, this, there's so many applications where this could be used. This is a phenomenal product and I'm, I'm very, very excited. Swan has been doing this for over 30 years. They are the number one leader in DIY security and surveillance systems. They've been protecting homes and families and businesses for over 30 years now. So, all right guys. Okay, before I open this up, I'm gonna go over a couple of things here. Like I said, there's two-way audio. There's a microphone and there's a speaker. This takes an SD card up to 64 gigabytes. There is a um, ethernet port if you wanna use that. This has an 80 degree viewing angle, not bad. All the stuff inside if you wanna go ahead and mount it, but it's totally up to you. We're gonna go over the initial setup. And something also, something great about the speaker being inside, let's say you have an intruder, you can't quite see their face when you see the footage, but if you hear them and it's someone you know, you'll be able to identify their voice. And let me make sure you guys can get a good look at the whole box here. Now this is pretty much plug and play, but we're gonna go ahead and go through it all and set it all up so you can see. Go around the whole box here. And here's all the contents. All right, let's go. Before you return this to the store, go ahead and give their customer service a call if you're having any issues at all. Alright, what do we got in here? This looks like, okay, what do we have here? This looks like your Ethernet cable mounting bracket. 
power cord and the power adapter. Spacer. Here's your uh, instruction manual, warranty information, theft deterrent st stickers, and quick setup guide. And let's look at the camera itself. You know, first impressions, it's lightweight and it's not very big. This thing is tiny. Look, it's only like half the size of the box. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. And uh, the fact that it's white, it's better, kind of blends in with more of an interior home design. You know, if this were black, uh, it probably would not look very aesthetically pleasing in your home. Okay, around here on the left, that's your power LED. It'll be blue when it lights up. On the other side, that's another light, and that is your Wi-Fi indicator. Now, I believe right here, this is a light sensor. Then you have your infrared LEDs in here, and this little hole right there, I don't know if you could see that. That is your microphone. It looks like your speakers are on the side. And then as we come around the back, okay, we have your uh, Ethernet micro SD. This is a micro SD slot, takes up to a 64 gigabyte, and then that's where you'll plug in your power cable. There's also a reset button here. Stick a pin in there, and it'll go ahead and hold it down for 10 seconds, and it will reset this whole thing. And then here are your dual Wi-Fi antennas. But uh, not bad. Very small, very lightweight, cute, cuddly. Kind of reminds me of that little BB-8, is that called, from the newer Star Wars, right? Funny. All right, so we'll go ahead and start to set this up, but uh, first impressions, very small, very lightweight, very cute, nice, uh, modern design. All right. Okay, I'm gonna take my micro SD card and uh, put that in right there. So let me go ahead and pop that in. Okay, I put that in and you'll hear it click when it's all the way in. Now I'll go ahead and plug in the power right there on the right hand side. Now the great thing about this is it's going to have voice prompts. And we'll go ahead and listen to the voice prompts. And go ahead and download the Always Safe app which is in your iOS or Android store. Please open the Wi-Fi settings option on your smartphone and connect to your camera's Wi-Fi, which has a name beginning with Swan. Okay, now we're gonna go to the settings on our phone and open Please up. Open Okay, so they're telling us to go in the settings, look, go under Wi-Fi, and look for SWAN. Okay, so we heard the voice prompt. Let's go ahead and look for the SWAN Wi-Fi setting. And follow the on-screen instructions to install your camera. Okay. Safe app and wait for the SWAN camera to be detected. Then follow the on-screen instructions to install your camera. Okay, so it looks like it found the camera there. With the voice prompts, it talks you through it. You can't mess up. So now we're going to create a password. One second. Okay, so the setup is complete. Now let's go ahead and see if we can move this thing around. So at the bottom here, I'll hit this icon for to bring up the motion controls. And let's see. All right, so let's try the talk feature. So I'm gonna let this sit here. I'm gonna take my phone. I'm gonna walk to another room and we'll see if you can hear me. Now tap the talk, you tap it and the microphone will be open and I can talk and I want you guys to see if you can hear me.
Now also too with the app, just kind of going through the buttons here. If you have more than one camera, you would switch it so you could see four of them, nine, 16, or the one here. If you want to listen in, I'll go to another room and play audio in here so you could hear it via my smartphone, but you would just take that button off and then that would allow you to hear. Okay, so I'm in a different room here and let's go ahead and hit this button so we can hear. And you can hear loud and clear and then go ahead and hit that. Okay, if you want to record something, let's say you see something happening and you want to record it and have it stored to your phone, go ahead and hit the record button right there. You'll see the little red REC in the upper right hand. And now it saves that video locally on your phone. And all you got to do is just go to your uh, photos here and then there's the video. See? And you're there. Go back to the Always Safe app and it'll log you right back in. Uh, if you want it to go full screen, you hit this button right here and then now it'll go full screen and then you can hit this arrow to go back. But everything's very easy to use, very self-explanatory. Here you can see what cameras. Hit that arrow to go back. If you want to drop down, and see all your cameras in that sort of a view. You have your settings here. 3G, Wi-Fi, password protection, offer on, settings, help, everything's all there, very smooth, very cleanly laid out. Okay, let's go ahead and go into the menu really quick. So you hit that drop down tab, you'll see your settings here. Now it's going to go to uh, device settings. Now it'll go into device settings. And you can see uh, display. In display you have the camera name, which you want to name it. Position, bottom right, display, the date, top, uh, the date position. You can put that where you want it. Uh, flip rotation, mirroring. All your stuff is here, anti-flicker, more advanced settings if you really want to get crazy with it. Uh, white balance, exposure, day and night, backlight, everything here. Okay, and then uh, backing up a little bit. And then encode sound, that's if you want the audio as well as the video while it's recording, which you do. You can set up schedules, uh, the record settings, overwrite, pre-record, Record extension, 15 seconds. That way after something happens, it'll continue to record 15 seconds after that. Okay, now MD settings, that's your motion detection settings. If you want to adjust the sensitivity of it, all your information is right there. Password, that's a password for the app. So every time you open it, it'll ask you for a password and go ahead and set that up. Pre-record, that'll yeah, capture a little bit of what happened before the actual event and overwrite, of course, once the card gets full, it will overwrite itself. SD card slot, and then you can see how big your card is. Uh, email, that's for notifications if you wanna get emailed, and you would go ahead and set that up there. Email schedule, you could have it on a schedule, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and certain times. Email settings, and that's where you go ahead and put in your information here and you'll get notified every time motion's detected. You could also have it go to someone else, more than one person, every time motion is detected. Attachments, if you want it to attach a picture and text. Uh, no attachments, just the picture, picture and text, and have it even attach a video if you like. And this is email intervals, like how often you want it to send you an email after motion is detected, if it keeps detecting it in 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes. Uh, I always have mine set to one minute. So everything here is pretty self-explanatory, very beautifully laid out, very easy to read. System information, video standard, PAL or NTSC, depending on where you're at. You could do your time and date if you want to restore everything, reboot it, firmware upgrade. You always want to make sure you're on the latest firmware, which we are.
Okay, and then just to get back to your camera, there you are, and you hit this, and now you're at your live feed. Now something I want you guys to see, let me bring this a little closer. Look how well you could read and how legible that is on the camera. Now it's still the live feed and I'll put my finger here on that dial. Wow, very quiet, very smooth. Very quiet, very smooth, and that's the app, and that's how it works. It's very nice that it starts out with the initial setup with just voice prompts. You're all good to go. You don't have to worry about uh, reading instructions or any of that. With the voice prompts, it just talks you through it. But that is the Swan 1080p Wi-Fi pan and tilt security camera. And that's it, guys. Just get you a nice micro SD card and you're all ready to go. All right. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm going to take one of these and record some daytime footage so you can see. And then my other one here, I'll just place it in my um, master bedroom closet. Shut the door, that way you can see what nighttime footage looks like in full 1080p. Now, I do have two of these cameras, because like I said, they're great, they're versatile, small, and um, you could place them anywhere in the house. Why not have more security? You know what I mean? You can never have too much. So I got these two little guys here. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same setup that we did really quick. So I'll go ahead and pop in my SD card, plug in the power, and just follow the voice prompts. Set it all up. Okay, so the setup's complete, so I'll launch the Always Safe app. And now you can see both cameras in there. Uh, I have one in this bonus room area here, and then down below, I have uh, my office where I'm currently at right now. So if you want to go to a live feed of either camera, go ahead and touch in the center. It brings up the live feed and that allows you to take pictures, record, um, pan, tilt, all of your options here. And then if you want to, you could hit this square and it'll bring up four cameras. Uh, if you have more than that, if you have nine, as you can see, and then even more to 16. But if you want to see more than one, then you hit this up here, the upper right. Okay, select your other camera, and then hit start live view. And you'll see now, it brings them right up there. Don't worry, it keeps sending me notifications because that's the email notifications letting me know there's movement being detected. So uh, yeah, now you can monitor more than one live feed at one time, and that's how you would bring that up. So. Let me go ahead and upload this footage so you guys can see it directly. Sorry, it's only being uploaded in 720p instead of the 1080p that this records at.